Hi everyone, I'm Changi. Welcome back to the channel. Ozzy is behind the camera, as usual. Let's address some of the comments made from last week's videos. When I was talking about pricing brickwork, uh, extensions and uh, site work, stuff like this, I wasn't saying that everything has to be the same price. What I was trying to say was, your standard brickwork has got a rate, whichever, if you're a small builder, you decide your rate on your standard brickwork, and then any fancy detail work is an extra over on top of your rate. I didn't say that brickwork on site should be the same rate as brickwork on extensions. You people are saying, you have to carry up bricks, mortar, all of the ladders on extensions. Well, my friends, if you choose to not use mechanical aids on your jobs, then that's up to you. You do not have to carry anything up ladders. I'll show you right here. This is called a bumper hoist. You can get one of these, £1,500 second hand. If this is going to be ideal for your business, invest in some mechanical aids. You're not, you don't have to be carrying stuff up ladders. And for the cost of the labour rates, compared to your mechanical aid, you'll get that money back so quickly, it's unreal. At the start of the year, or before the start of the year, me and Ozzy were on a job, and instead of having a forklift truck on the job, building a large church, they decided to have five labourers instead. The cost of having a forklift truck and a driver full time would massively outweigh the cost of having these labourers, but some Somebody who thinks they're clever in an office thinks we're not paying out for a forklift, we'll pay for labourers instead. They're so wrong. Men on the ground, men on the tools, you know what you're doing. You don't replace labour with mechanical aids. Always use a mechanical aid. And that's what I've got to say. You can even get electric hoists that can, for very cheap, that can lift 250 kilograms at a time. Or you can get a mechanical hoist that'll go up the side of a scaffold. Extensions are really small. If you invest in these small mechanical aids, <coughs> you can price them in at a small cost on your jobs, and say you did five or six jobs in a year, you'll easily get your money back. So that is getting that one down for all you people out there saying, I can't charge the same as this as site work on an extension. No, you can't, but you certainly can help yourselves. So stop moaning at me. And let's get into this video. Right, today we're back on the final gable of house two. The first one is complete. We're gonna get this up today, and then the roofer, the roofer should be booked in for that first one, and it's ready for him now. We've all got is a couple of fire barriers left to chuck in, which Ozzy will go across and do soon. Um, and he'll show you what the fire barriers are. We've got the profile set up. They are hooked onto the scaffolds like this now. That's how we've done them. We're not setting up three-way timber clamps, so this is a much easier way. Uh, we'll run a line through the back of that and we're going to get this in. There's about 800 brick in this gable, approximately. Uh, and then we're going to jump on this fourth lift behind us. We're going to start from the opposite side. The only thing is this week, there's rain on its way. Today's the only dry day. Tomorrow's forecast, heavy rain. And then we've got light rain through the week. It may change, may not. But we're going to try and get as much done today as we can. And then if tomorrow comes, we've got some work down the stairs that needs doing. We'll jump in there and we'll knock all the bits off tomorrow. We'll see what happens. But let's get into this. We find it quickest if you go and lay out your ties. One go lay out the ties while the other one. And then just come across. Bring them in a lot quicker. Job done. Right, I'm going to mention somebody who I haven't mentioned for a while. Um, the After 8 Bricklayer, hence the name After 8 means he used to start After 8. I watched his videos and a while ago he had a little bit of a spit with me because I just pointed out something that was not obvious. I was watching his videos and I could see that he was showing you what's in his fridge, he was showing you his lifestyle. And he showed you like he drinks ale every night, his diet, he was on Rustler burgers and all sorts, cans of monster, everything that's pretty much bad for your lifestyle. So I pointed out and said, have you ever watched your videos back and seen like how bad your lifestyle is and hence why I said you always seem like you're knackered and everything. He took the ump, said, oh no, it's because I've got a 
a small child at home who keeps me up all night. Well, I was like, nah, that ain't the case because I've got two small kids at home and they're waking up through the night, but I don't physically feel drained every day. Um, point being on this, I actually want to say a good thing about him. I've been watching his videos of late. He's been getting fit since the end of last year or whatever it was. He's been getting fit. He's lost loads of weight. He now has changed his routine and said that he gets so much done because he's organized. Yeah, because now he doesn't start work after eight o'clock. He's starting at half seven, finishing at half four. The same kind of stuff we do. Now he knows that he's making money. Um, he's got himself set up properly. Now, if you watch his videos six months ago, certainly was a different guy. Now he's got his act together and I want to congratulate you and say well done. Doesn't mean a lot coming from me, but this was all I was trying to put out there before. I wasn't having a go at you, just trying to say, take a look at yourself, Shag, and you've done well. Um, and I think that's all I wanted to say, yeah. But there is one problem with your gang. That's your labourer. He has too much time off. Get rid of him. Every time you put a video on, you're either working solo or uh, Dean's having a week off for you. Dean's doing this. De Get rid of him. It's no good. Wasting your time with him. Get someone decent like Ozzy in every day. Uh, gives me grief. No, he's here with me every day and he gets graft done. So, get yourself an Aussie. Moral of the story. Right, we've had enough today. I'm fed up. Something's really peed me off. And in, in that, that means we're going home early. It's three o'clock. But sometimes you just need to relax, cool off, get collected, start again tomorrow. That is done all the way to the top. Nearly 800 bricks there, 784 bricks in that. That was done a while ago. We've been waiting for this little alteration to be done. This is done now. We've set up the profiles ready for tomorrow uh, and we have got to continue getting some load out. But I have got to start on that end gable. We're not going to bump everything out right now because the rain is coming tomorrow, like I said earlier on in the video. And I can't be bothered with messing about with wet bricks. Plus, some that's peed me off. I'm not going to say what it is because people will be watching. Right. Take it nice and easy. That's what I'm going to try and do. 